Uh, the Guitar Racing Handicap is next, and this is a 10 furlong 0 to 90 for three year olds. Top one is Curly Bill for Kevin Minahan, Voltager for Paul Rhodes, Humor Dagar, Martin Leedham, Violent Verdict, Nick Driver, Evil Wind, Martin Leedham, Starport, Nick Driver, New Jack Hustler, Joshua Sutherland, Tejiano, T. Rogers, Thunder Queen, James Shea, Gunrunner, Dan Hughes, Sheer Moss, Alex Cherry, Pyromaniac, Django, Frozen Dark, Greg Beckwith, Brossily and Fine, Mike Westwood, Kibitza, Paul O'Neill, Dua Lipper, Dan Hughes, Grin Holiday, Steve Rand, Sundance Kid, Alex Cherry, Highest Buster, Thomas A, Irish Stone, Ryan Costello, and Nelly De Belli, Mark Jones is the bottom one of the 21 then, in the rain at Newmarket, starting on a little bit of a turn, but not much of a one, and away they go then, and it's going to be Gunrunner that's going to take them on, I think, Gunrunner, and Dua Lipper in those similar colours, Sheer Moss and Sundance Kid also close up, so is Kibitza, and they sorted themselves out through the first furlong or so, and Dua Lipper is the clear leader by a length. Down on this near side, Humor Dagar the Grey is just ahead of Kibitza and Frozen Dark, but it's Dua Lipper who's got the lead up the centre of the track by about a length and a half. To Sundance Kid in the orange sleeves in second, and Brossily Unfine, Voltageur, Humor Dagar, Starport, and Gunner, and New Jack Hustler and Violent Verdict are also up there looking towards about nearly the belly, and Tegiano on the back too, with Pyromaniac and Irish Stone also a little bit out the back as well. But it's Dua Lipper who's now gone too clear from Sundance Kid and Highest Buster, then Starport over on this near side, Voltageur heads this group on this rail, with also Humor Dagar the Grey still there, and Kubitza. And also Frozen Dark, but it's Dua Lipper who's got the lead. Dua Lipper then passed the five furlong pole in front with Sundance Kid now making a forward move. And he's not quite got into it. Right over on the far side, Grin Holiday is getting a little bit closer. Humor Dagar the Grey is going well again down on this near side with that rail to run against. But Dua Lipper is still the leader. It looks like the far side are in front. Dua Lipper and Gun Runner are the front two. Sundance Kid and Curly Bill, they're all over on the far side. Humor Dagar, Kibitza and Voltage are down on this near side. Grin Holiday is trying to get into it as well. Pyromaniac's trying to run on. Evil Wind is also trying to get into it. But it's Dua Lipper still in front by about a length. Dua Lipper from Gunrunner then Sundance Kid. Green Holiday throwing down a big challenge on the outside. It's the action is right over on the far side in the centre of the track. Though. It's Dua Lipper. Dua Lipper and Gunrunner they've got a further and a half to go and Dua Lipper's yet to be headed. Gunrunner's trying to throw down a big challenge and Green Holiday Kid bits her and Voltage her down this near side. But Dua Lipper's still in front now being pressed by Gunrunner and Gunrunner strikes. Gunrunner goes into the lead in the race into the final half furlong. It's Gunrunner being to pull away from Dua Lipper and Grin Holiday Pyromaniac finishing like a train but it's got to be Gunrunner that's going to take it Gunrunner wins it Dua Lipper Grin Holiday Pyromaniac Frozen Dark Field Trails back to Orish Stone but that was an action pack race right across the track and Gunrunner a race set up for him by Dua Lipper who hung on well to be second it's a 1-2 for Dan Hughes I'm not sure Julep was in there to be a pacemaker, but if he was, he did a really good job. <laughs> Gun runners, the winner for Dan Hughes. Dua Lipper, second for Dan Hughes. So it's a week of the one twos, isn't it, this week? Green Holiday was third for Steve Rand. Pyromaniac came from absolutely nowhere to finish fourth. And uh, that might have been Django's. And uh, once again, I'm not going to get the fifth in, I don't think, because the card hasn't been scrolled. But it is. No, it hasn't. No, they're not going to scroll the card back up, so we'll check fifth later on.